Hi guys, so I've been asked to do this video quite a lot but I always pushed it back because A, I'm really bad at makeup, B, I hardly ever wear makeup and C, I don't even know how to put on makeup and D, like, how am I supposed to film this? Like, do I hold a mirror up or do I like look at myself in the mirror while I'm doing this? But anyway, I'm going to try this out. So, disclaimer, I hardly ever wear makeup. Like, usually if I'm in China, I'll probably wear it like, oof, once a week. I mean, like, I have uni and it's like, I see the same people every day, like, I ain't got nobody to impress and at work like it's just way too early because I have to get there at 6 30 and it's like who's got time to put makeup on at 6 30 like I can barely drink water at 6 30 a.m. it's just too early to function another big reason why I don't really wear makeup is because my skin is super sensitive I'm actually basically like allergic to all foundation I just get pimples the next day and I get really itchy so whenever I film um, and I have to put makeup on for more than like two to three hours my skin starts to get itchy and it gets really dry and then the next day I wake up and it's like pimple galore so most of the products that I use are very simple and they're very natural. So this is the makeup that I've been doing when I want to look summer presentable in summer in Melbourne. So I'm just going to do this as like a summer makeup routine. So I hope this is going to be okay. I'm looking a bit red right now because I'm thinking I'm sunburned but let's go. So to me skincare is very important because as I do have sensitive skin I always try to sort of um, look after my skin and I do buy some more pricier products for skincare because I think it's worth it. So this is the miracle water that I always use. It's the SK2. You can basically use it like a toner. I actually got asked to try out this product as well. It's Del Organic. It's a vitamin C serum. Okay, so basically what I do is I mix these two together. So after I've cleansed my face, I will put, I don't know, just a few drops of that onto here. And then, so that was like, what, like three drops? And then I'll put like three drops of this on, mixed in with this. And I just mix it around, put it all over my face. Um, I feel like this has worked really well. I'm not actually sure which one works better or if they work well by themselves because I've just been using them combined together for the past month and I've gotten so many compliments that my skin looks better so I think they're working pretty well. So next step is this might be a little bit weird because I don't always moisturize um, because my skin is just very tender like I don't like putting too much stuff on it so usually if I don't wear makeup I'm probably just wearing these two plus a little sunscreen. If my face is feeling dry then I'll put moisturize on but because it's summer I'm gonna skip that step I'm not actually sure what this is for, but I've been using it every time I put makeup on. It's the strobe cream from MAC and I put it on before my foundation. I think it's kind of like a primer, but not. I actually got this from doing my makeup, formal makeup at MAC in 2012. And they were just like, oh yeah, get this product because your skin's really dry and it just makes them all luminous and alive. So I probably put on that much. And once again, I basically just tap it all over my face. I think it's kind of like a primer, but I don't know, I just like something. In between my skin and the foundation because I don't want my foundation like directly penetrating my skin once again I'm just very whatever with this so the foundation that I use is Tarte Am Amazonian clay um, I use Tarte because you know they're like animal cruelty free and their products are quite neutral and quite natural as well Amazonian clay I mean it sounds pretty natural so anyway this has got SPF 15 my color is I don't really know what my color is oh it's light neutral I'm very pale you see so I don't like wearing too much and this stuff is very thick it's kind of got like a moussey texture so a little goes a long way with this um, what I use I used to just put it on like moisturizer or I try to use a brush but then it just look really streaky so what I've been using is I got this beauty blender from forever 21 it's just really cheap I don't really care um, and then you wet it I didn't actually know you were supposed to wet it and then I just kind of dab it okay um, I don't know how I'm supposed to put this on let me just put this um, mirror here and then I kind of just like dab it all in my face. So for me my trouble areas are kind of you know just the nose and upper lip and lower area because I used to get a lot of pimples there when I was younger and I've got like scarring there and it's just very red and I've got like huge ass pores on my nose. I don't know why life is just hard and then usually I, like under eye and then my eyelids kind of get a bit pinkish as well. So I just do kind of like a light thing. I just push it into my skin and then I might, I've got freckles but I don't really care. I don't really feel the need to sort of cover them up. So basically just like the t-zone I don't use concealer because one time a makeup artist told me that concealer is basically like the worst thing for your skin because it doesn't let it breathe whatsoever which is why it's probably called concealer so ever since then I've stopped using concealer um, I guess my scarring or like redness or under eye isn't that bad so usually just a teensy bit of foundation will cover it up and this foundation is really now, good Now this coverage. next step is very rare for me, it's just the powder because um, I don't like it feeling very heavy but if I am going out I will put on a light sort of powder and if I'm feeling just like quite moist today, like my skin is feeling quite moist, I will just use powder. Like I used to never use foundation, I will just kind of dust a little bit of powder on. What I'm using is the 100% pure um, 
foundation powder. This is White Peach. It's healthy, flawless skin foundation. It's from Luck Beauty. So it's vegan and it's natural. So I really want to try it out. And it's been good. Like, I haven't gotten any sort of reactions from any of these products. So, no, let's try to be professional about this. The brush that I'm using is Multitask Brush from Real Techniques. These are like the only brushes I have. So, go like that. See them tapping like, like that. And whatever, I'll just dust it all over my face. Um, I can't really see anything, so hopefully this works. Um, looks like it should be alright. Okay, now we're up to the more difficult part. I don't know why, but I usually like to draw my eyebrows first so I can sort of frame my face. And it's so true that once you start drawing eyebrows, you will never go back. Like, when I was younger, I don't know why anyone didn't tell me that my eyebrows look like utter crap. Because, like, I used to pluck them so thin and so angled. And I look like a Chinese opera singer, but... Now, because every time I get my makeup done, they always shave my eyebrows. I'm trying to grow back the tails. They just shaved off the tails. I was like, excuse me. Anyway, this eyebrow pencil is the best. It's the Shiromora Hard Formula. This is in Hard 9 color. The trick with this pencil is, is you've got to get them to shave it into the sort of arc. Sort of, yeah, you just get like a Stanley knife and you've got to shave it. You can do it yourself, but you can ask the ladies to do it for you at the store when you purchase it. So it works so much better like this. I've used a lot of eyebrow products. I used to use benefit like the powder and the gel set and it's just really hard and the brows just look really unnatural and like I could never use the powder I just always use the gel that's it I also use brow gel and it gets really hard because sometimes it's like a massive glob and you're like oh like you gotta kind of puff it out a little bit but this one has been the easiest by far I don't really have an eyebrow shape I just got like two caterpillars so I kind of just darken them a little bit and just fill in the gaps because my hairs aren't super dark and also like I have really far set eyebrows I just Try to make them look a bit normal. Like one time someone commented, they're like, you look like an alien because your eyebrows are really far apart. And I was like, so I try to make them look like they're a little bit less far apart. Um, I can never really fill in my eyebrows. I don't draw my eyebrows. Whoopsie daisies. Because I do have eyebrows, thank goodness. But I just like it more natural because if my eyebrows look a bit too dark, then they look a bit weird. So I'm um, just going to elongate that tail there. And then my eyebrows are like completely different. Like the left one grows less, sorry I'm talking a lot, um, the left one grows less and it grows less fast and then the right one is like thicker as well. So now it kind of looks a bit unnatural so what I like to do is I get my fingers and I just kind of smooth them out a little bit because I don't really like harsh lines so just kind of smooth them out a little bit, just a little bit dark in the front because I don't have hair there um, and yeah looks okay I think. <laughs> Are they even? I'm not sure if this is the angle, but anyway, we'll keep going. So next, I like to put on mascara. Um, because it's summer, I've been using like a waterproof mascara because it always collects at the bottom of my eye. Like makeup kind of just like washes off me. So the eyelash curl that I'm using is the Shumora one. Apparently, if it's Asian eyes really well, it's the only one I use. Um, I don't know why I curl my eyelashes. They're a bit like they're tiny. I mean, look at them. Can you even see any eyelashes? So I try curl them a bit. Um, with waterproof is good because it actually holds the curl. Any other eyelash mascara, eyelash mascara, what other mascaras are there? Um, after I curl them and I put them on, it's basically like I never curl them at all. So I have to wait till they dry and then I recurl them. A lot of my friends complain that I don't know how to curl my eyelashes because I basically just lift them up from the root. And like, you know how you're meant to make them like kind of curvy? I just make them look straight up. I mean, I'd rather have a little bit of straight up eyelash than like no curl at all. It's just like, it's just too difficult for me to have curly eyelashes. And I'd rather spider lashes than nothing at all. So, sometimes I accidentally pull out a few eyelashes, but you know. But you know, that's life. So the waterproof mascara that I've been using is the Dior Hypnose Doll Eyes. Um, I don't like the smell of it, but the brush is like a plastic brush, which I really like, because I don't really like the bristles. Maybe it is bristles, who knows? Anyway, so I kind of just get all in there. I don't really have a mascara technique. I just try cover as much as possible without getting mascara on my eyelid, which happens every time. I don't know why, but when I put mascara on, I have to like bite my upper lip or like I can't put mascara on with my mouth closed. Like, I just can't, let me try. Like, oh yeah, no, I still have to bite my upper lip. Um, I also put mascara on my bottom lashes too. I don't know if that's weird, but I just feel like it makes a bit of a difference. And... Whoops, I just got it on my eyelid. Can you see that difference though? <laughs> okay, I'll do the other eye. Oh no, I got it on my eyelid. 
So I rarely wear eyeliner because A, I don't know how to draw my eyeliner. Like to this day, I've lived 21 years, I still don't know how to draw my eyeliner. Like my eyelids are different sort of thicknesses and like I always draw them too thick and I can't tight line them. Like they just, when I have eyeliner on it looks really weird but I only wear eyeliner like if, whoa, that's going everywhere. Um, I only wear eyeliner if I'm going out and I have shadow on because then otherwise I just look like someone punched me in the eye. So we're going to skip the eyeliner today. The blush that I'm using is the MAC blush. It's called Sun Basque and it's a sheer tone shimmer blush. My friend actually put this on me like two years ago and absolutely fell in love with it because usually I always use kind of like coral tones. I don't know where this brush is from, it's just a random brush. I always use coral tones so it was kind of nice. I had a bit of a more brownish reddish tone. I hope this is like e even. Who knows? Um, yeah and it's like not really shimmery. It's very matte so it looks very natural. Did I put that on evenly? Ah, looks alright. And then the other one that she paired it with is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. And it is so pretty. I mean, look at it. <gasps> um, usually I just use the blush brush, but since the blush brush has blush on it, I'll just use my fingers. I'm not very good at highlighting or anything because I don't highlight because I don't have cheekbones. Like I just have massive big cheeks and it'll look weird if I contour it and highlight it. So I just put it some on my finger and I just kind of like go across that upper area there that you're supposed to do. I don't know. I see girls in YouTube makeup tutorials do that. Now I put a little bit down my nose. Um, apparently that makes your nose bridge look higher. My non-existent nose bridge. And I see people like dusting it on their foreheads. So I might just do a little bit of that. Um, that is basically done. Now for lips, my lips are really dry all the time. So I always use Lucas Purple Ointment. A lot of people say it's really bad, but it works for me. So whatever. So I dab a little bit on. Uh, and then I don't like really intense lip colors. So this lipstick I've been using since the past half year. It's the Madame Glam one. You can see like it's already all gone. And it's very delicious, number 114. They're a vegan cruelty free brand. And this color... When I first got it, I was really apprehensive about using it because I don't use dark colours and it's like a very berry, sort of dark, almost maroony, burgundy colour. But I only put a little bit on and then I smooth it out and you know what? I really like it. And this colour kind of goes with everything. I just smooth it out with my fingers because why not? I never really line my lips because who can be bothered? So yeah, it gives like a very nice sort of warm, berry-ish tone. Um, so... My makeup is done. This is my makeup. Sorry if you guys are looking for a more like intense version, but usually when I film, this is what my makeup is. I might put a bit of eyeliner on if I'm feeling a bit risky that day because it's always annoying when I have to try to put eyeliner on, then I have to wipe it off, then I have to restart everything. So usually I just skip that. But this is my summer makeup routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I might let me know if you wanted to do more makeup videos, but this is the extent of my makeup techniques and abilities so if you enjoyed this well good for you if you were like that was crap does she even know how to put on makeup well sorry that's just my life i'm like a very sort of simple low-key person when it comes to makeup but this is it if you have sort of sensitive skin or anything these products that i use are really good for sensitive skin oh i forgot one thing this is what i usually do i love this spray i know it's just water in a bottle but it feels amazing it's the aven aven o thermal like thermal spring water apparently it sets your makeup so let's set this Oh, feels amazing. I usually just spray this on my face all the time. I spray it before I wake up. <laughs> no, I spray it before I go to sleep. Spray it when I wake up and sets your makeup. So I always spray it when I finish my makeup. And now I'm ready. I spent all my time in Melbourne, which is wonderful because I haven't been back in so long for maybe like the past.